Hi everyone, it's Mags here. Thanks for joining me for the next video in our Warrior series. So last but not least, Warrior 3 or Vera Bhadrasana 3. So the third of the three classical standing postures that improve your strength, flexibility, as well as coordination when you take off to fly. So when you're ready, hop into something comfy and join me on the mat. So when you're ready, start at the bottom of your mat. So Virabhadrasana 3 is an intermediate balancing yoga pose. It incorporates um, coordination of all the muscles in your legs and your core, as well as your arms to prepare you to take off to fly. So we're gonna take a step forward and spread your toes wide so that you can feel distribution of the weight over the foot and begin to tilt forward. So lifting the right leg off the mat. So check how your balance is. So balance is a tricky thing because even if you feel proficient in balancing, there, there will be days that will catch you off guard. So squeeze your belly, push down the standing leg and bring the hands at your heart. So pressing the fingertips together and gathering the energy to the center line of your body may help you balance better. So I need to highlight the word may help you. <laughs> so when you've got the leg lifted, you might be happy just here. However, if you want to progress into the full expression of the pose, engage the muscles in both legs, so the standing leg, as well as the extended leg pushing out through the heel or the ball of the foot. So you tip your weight forward, you aim to have a straight line with your body, Proprioception comes in handy, but just work with what you've got. Cultivating the coordination, balancing combined with strength is enough to embrace that inner warrior within you. So then step your right foot down, release your arms, briefly reflect. How did it make you feel? What felt easy? What was perhaps a bit challenging? And then step to the back of the mat. We've still got the other side to do. So step the right foot through, spread your toes wide, lift the arch of the foot and begin to shift your weight onto the standing leg. Hands at your heart, lift the left leg off the mat and begin to tilt forward, squeeze your belly, roll the shoulders back and down, lift the left leg, keeping the right left hip down Feel the posterior chain of the muscles firing up. Press the fingertips together. And as you inhale, come up to standing and release. Give your body a little shake if that's what it needs. And we're gonna try again. So now you may want to start in the middle of the mat. We're gonna upgrade it a little bit. Shift the weight onto the left leg reach your right knee up, squeeze your belly, tilt your hips back, bring the hands at your heart. So embrace your inner warrior, cultivate strength and grace and begin to tilt your torso forward, extending your right leg back. So cultivating elongation through the spine, pressing down through the standing leg, Breathe easily, keep an equanimous mind. And as you inhale, come back to standing. Release, reflect, and start again. Okay, so now we're shifting the weight onto the right leg. Lift the left knee up, bring the hands at your heart. And don't worry if one side feels more wobbly than the other. That's how just things are. And if you fall over, it's fine. Just pick yourself up and start again. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, squeeze your belly, tilt your chest forward, extend through the left leg, drop the left hip down. 
fly. So be strong enough to fly. And as you inhale, come back to standing and release. So warrior three can be very challenging and rewarding at the same time. So incorporating the strength and flexibility as well as coordination to take the flight can be a real challenge at times, but then it can prepare you just to rise up to any challenges throughout your life so you can fly through them with grace and poise. So let me know how you get on and what favorite warrior pose <laughs> um, you've got in mind and I hope to see you again soon. Namaste.